hello, 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 you guys. Welcome back to my kitchen. So, today we're doing our bi-monthly Costco haul. This month I had a little bit of extra money. So, did I say that right? Isn't bi-monthly twice a month? I mean every two months. We go to a big haul at Costco every six to eight weeks. And this is it. This time I had a little extra money to spend, so I got a few extra things. Like, I got these seasoned drumsticks. Um, five pounds for $14. I paid $2.50 a pound. Um, great price. But, part of the reason I paid $2.50 a pound is I'm paying for the, uh, spicing that they do. Not just the chicken, because this is also chicken. Oh, and because these are drumsticks, not thighs. So, at $2.49 a pound, I'm paying for the drumsticks and the seasoning. Here, it was $0.99 cents a pound, and that's just because it's just the thighs. Now, these drumsticks, what I'll do is I'll stick them in my... I wanted to say my roasting pan, but that's not what I mean. My uh, crock pot. And I'll cook them in my crock pot on low overnight. And then I'll pull them out. I think you guys have seen me do a video on it. Um, I pull out all the bones, separate all the bones. And then I can just the chicken. I use it for salads. I use it for... Um, wraps for like making chicken wraps and stuff like that for lunches um, chicken on salads chicken on quesadillas because I have a quesadilla machine and my husband and my children love to make themselves just plain quesadillas well plain chicken quesadillas so the small cans of the chicken made out of this stuff they really enjoy so I picked up two packages of them rather than just one since I had extra. And then I got this. What I do with these. Is I'll. Undo the tape. And then I'll cut it down the center here. And then when I go to make dinner. Um, I think I have a video on this too. Oven fried chicken. Where I just put the chicken in my big cast iron pan. Dump Italian seasoning on it. Or Italian seasoning, Italian dressing on it, and fry it in the Italian dressing in my cast iron pan in the oven, and then we've got a really good family dinner. So that's the other thing. That's what I do with these. Then I picked up crispy chicken strips for my kids, um, just because on the weekends sometimes I don't have a lot of time, so. I'll throw these in the oven for lunch, or I'll throw them in the oven and make a dinner. So I always get a bag of nuggets, or a bag of chicken strips, or something. And the Tysons were on sale today, so I got them. Alright, I got a lot more to show you, but I want to get this meat put away. So, I'll be back, you guys. Next group of things I got was more meat. Like I said, I had a little extra this month. This bi-month. Um, because I had been saving up, and so I picked up extra stuff, hence why I got three packages of chicken. And also why I then turned around and picked up pork tenderloins. Um, I'm going to be pulling them out of the bag, and then I'll be sticking them in a Ziploc bag with fresh ground pepper and lemon juice. And just zipping it up in the Ziploc baggie and freezing it just like that so it's like a marinade. It really turns out really good. And then I can just cook these uh, whole pork tenderloins and make like a pork roast. And add sliced potatoes and vegetables and I have a whole dinner and one big pot. Quick, easy, simple. And of course I got hamburger because everybody always needs hamburger and then this was one of the other extras we got um if we have extra extra money to spend and we want to get ourselves a 
fancy meal because they've always got those ready to go meals we buy ourselves these stuffed bell peppers now I know I have a video on turning the leftovers from the stuffing into sloppy joes or I might have turned them into tacos I don't remember I do that but um my kids share one and then each of my my husband and I each have one and then it leaves three leftovers and then I can make I do tacos and meatloaf I will look at my videos and see whether or not I filmed the leftover not meatloaf uh, sloppy joe mix or if I filmed the leftover into tacos and I will film the opposite when I do the leftovers for this one this time so yep the stuffed bell peppers hamburger everybody needs hamburger and then, like I said with these I do lemon juice and fresh ground pepper into a ziploc baggie and freeze it and it's like a lemon pepper marinade all right I'm gonna get this all taken care of and we'll be back with more all right guys next thing I got here I got six romaine hearts uh, they're organic romaine hearts um you've seen what I do with these I don't need to explain them everybody uses lettuce and then I picked up deli slices because my husband got a new job with his new job that he got um a we're making a little bit more money and B it's during the day so he's it's a nine to five job so he's at home with us so I have to make him lunches for work so I picked up a big thing of sliced cheese for his lunches then I got a big bag of garlic because um, I'm going to be making some more of my herb garlic stuff that I roast in my crock pot. I've made a video on it. I know I have. If I remember, I will link it in the description. Um, I just used up the last of my stuff. Um, one big container of this will last me a year. So... I made some last year, and I just used up the last of it the other day, so I'm making myself more. I also picked up oil. Here it is. Big thing of the oil for me to make my garlic with, and then I will pick up, I have my own parsley and basil this year, and then I will pick up some rosemary and some thyme at the store, and I will make my garlic herb mix. Oh yeah, bananas, my family just eats those. Now, generally I buy gallons of milk, pour a little bit of the milk out, and then freeze the gallons. But my kids have been eating less and less cereal, because they generally eat it for snack. But they've been eating less and less cereal lately, so I've been having the bottom part of the milk goes bad and I don't I hate wasting money so instead this time I picked up this three pack and again just because it's cardboard doesn't mean it ain't gonna bust so I have to eat open up each of these cartons pour a little bit out and then just freeze just the cartons but that is what I'll be doing with the milk um I paid ten dollars for these three half gallons of the organic whole milk Animal Welfare Certified. I'm going to have to look into what that means. Okay, anyways. So, that's that stuff. Um, next is like the pantry items. I wanted to get all this refrigerator stuff and freezer stuff done. So, I'll be back with the next round of stuff to show you. Alright guys, we're back. Um, we've got this and then just a couple more things. First, um, generally I buy that. Here, let me show you. Generally I buy this Kirkland cooking spray. But, they had this avocado oil spray. And... I decided I want to give this a try and see what I think of this. 
um, I want to bake some bread. I want to bake some uh, muffins, and I want to see how this spray works in the pans. Um, no chemicals, no propellants, no preservatives. Ingredients: avocado oil. So. And most importantly, it's up to 500 degrees. So I can cook on my cast iron pan, which once you get a cast iron pan hot, it t tends to run a few degrees hotter than the environment around it because it absorbs heat and saves it. Okay, anyways. So, avocado spray. And then I got garlic because we use lots of garlic. Honey. I love this Kirkland Clover honey. It's got a really good flavor to it. That's the oil that I'm going to be using for that garlic. My garlic herb thing. I think that was in the last clip. This. My son and husband went wandering around without me for a few minutes. And apparently they walked past the Pop-Tart display. And they decided to buy some. Yes, hang on. Um... In our house, the kids do not eat Pop-Tarts or cereal as if it's a breakfast, because that's not a breakfast. They eat them as if they're snacks. And my son's hovering because he wants his snack. Yay! Um, I'll put one out, and then the other ones will get put away. And this uh, box has to last them at least a week. That way they're not eating too many of them and going crazy. They also only eat one at a time. That way they last longer. They're just for snacks. And they're not getting too much sugar. How are you to eat? All right, um, and I got my son his snack. That back in the box. All right. Next is cereal. Like I said, in our house, cereal and pop tarts are snacks. Um, this was like six something on sale. I'll have to pull out my. Receipt and show you guys the whole receipt. Um, Fruit Loops, Cocoa Krispies, and Apple Jacks. My kids just, they love them. And it's like six something for the three pack. I absolutely love it. Last thing. Like I said, we had a little extra money. And they had these <coughs> on sale. Thank you. Last <coughs> sale. Thank you. They had these on sale for twelve ninety nine. Um, in the town where I live, there is literally only one place to find them. I have looked everywhere in town. I go to Costco on a regular basis. This is the first time I've ever seen them. The four pack was twelve ninety nine. In the town I live in, the only place to find them here is at a place called Creative Kitchen. And they are six ninety nine for a single one. So, for, I got basically two for one. I got them for $12.99 for all four of them. Since we had extra, I bought it for myself. If it hadn't been a month that had extra ability for us to spend, I would not have bought them. But I bought them for myself because I love these silicone mats. They are so nice. Alright guys, I got one more round of stuff to go. And I'll show you that. We'll be back in a second. Alright you guys, here is the very last of everything I got at Costco. Um, it is the end of the season. I have a feeling that this will end up being the last bread I buy before we go in to the colder part of the year so I can actually start baking bread again. But, um, I get the cottage bread for my husband for his sandwich lunches. And then my kids like this uh, split top of wheat. 
and I love Costco. I spend $3.99 per double pack. So basically buy one get one free at Costco. Um, it's a huge part of the reason we shop Costco because it is worth the membership is worth the money you save. Thank you. I have a cold, everyone, so please excuse me. And yes, I am sneezing into a shirt, not all over stuff. Anyways, and the last thing I got, um, this peach cider. Generally, I don't buy juice, but there was a sample. The kids really enjoyed it, so I picked it up. Um, they'll be done with this in, like, two days. Maybe three days. Um, like I said, I don't buy juice most of the time. I make tea or we have homemade apple juice or any other kind of homemade fruit juice I happen to have around. Because I don't generally like to buy juice because store-bought juice is so full of artificial sugars and other stuff. But every once in a while for treat is not that big of a deal so there we go all right guys that is everything i got um i paid 212 dollars at costco for everything which is in my opinion a great deal it's why we shop at costco so thanks for coming along on this costco haul um, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any questions about things I mentioned that I make or anything, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll answer it. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay positive. Bye!